now asking the Texas Environmental Quality Commission for permission to have an update on their Starbase, one that SpaceX says will help make their launches safer. Our Blake Brown brings us the details. System SpaceX plans to upgrade would make launches smoother. This one's a little different. They, they're uh, permitting uh, for a, a, a flame trench with plumbing fixtures that blast water through that trench to help suppress sound and to suppress um, any of the, 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 the fire. SpaceX has been testing it since last year, but were threatened with a lawsuit by Save RGV and Eco Rights Org for not having a permit. Hudson Deo is a science professor at UTRGV. He says while the water system is meant to reuse the water, all of it eventually goes back into the river, and SpaceX needs a permit with the TEQC to do so. Uh, it will be captured and going to be used again. I'm not sure how many times they're going to reuse that water, but they do, that's why they're applying for the permit, getting rid of it, that water is going to be going to the Rio Grande. Boldera says the water discharge will be lessened with the new system designed to protect the surrounding environment. It's going to divert the, the sound and the pressure more to the south um, and it will um, help the environment as to not create so much uh, smoke and, and debris uh, you know, as the last ones have. Professor Deo, however, is less convinced. He says the launches could still leave chemicals in the water, which could harm the environment. He gave one suggestion to the TEQC. The te An easy one, at least my perspective, would be to, if they were going to discharge that water, only do it on an outgoing tide. That way that water wouldn't go upstream at all, and it would minimize the impact. The EQC is currently investigating Starbase and their deluge system before deciding to accept it or not. Working for you in the Rio Grande Valley, I'm Blake Brown.